Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I will explain how to draw an ellipse by directrix focus method or it is also called as focus directrix method. So first we will see different types of conic sections. So this is the right circular cone and this is the axis of cone. So if you cut this cone in different way, then we will get different shapes. For example, if you cut this cone by cutting plane, which is perpendicular to axis of this cone, then we will get a circular shape. If we cut this cone at certain inclination to axis of the cone, then we will get elliptic shape. If you cut this cone by cutting plane parallel to generator of the cone and passing through the base of the cone, then we will get parabolic shape. If the cutting plane is parallel to axis of the cone then we will get hyperbolic shape like this so these are the types of conic section curves and these curves can be differentiated with its eccentricity so let us understand what is eccentricity so here we have drawn three curves ellipse parabola and hyperbola this vertical fixed line it is directrix and this is the axis which is perpendicular to directrix. So if this curve intersect to the axis, then that intersection point is vertex. And fixed point on the axis, it is called focus. Now what is eccentricity? If you consider any point on the curve, let us say P, then distance of that point V from the focus divided by shortest distance of that point from the directrix, it is called eccentricity so here eccentricity is pf upon pd and for given curve this eccentricity is constant at all points on the curve so here for parabola eccentricity is 1 means if you consider any point on this parabolic curve for example let us consider this point then distance of this point from the focus and from the directrix it is same then for ellipse eccentricity is less than 1 means distance of the point on the ellipse from focus is always less than distance of that point from the directrix and for hyperbola eccentricity is always greater than 1 means if you consider any point on this hyperbola then distance of that point from the focus is always greater than distance of that point from the directrix so here please note that for parabola eccentricity is 1, for ellipse eccentricity is less than 1 and for hyperbola eccentricity is greater than 1. And here this vertical fixed line is called directrix. The intersection point of the curve with the axis is called vertex and the fixed point f it is called focus. With this let us take one problem. So problem statement is like this. Point F is 50 mm from line AB. A point P is moving in a plane such that ratio of its distances from F and line AB remains constant and equal to 2 by 3. Draw locus of point P. So here this 2 by 3 is eccentricity. So here as eccentricity is 2 by 3 which is less than 1 means that curve will be the ellipse. And here, if you consider that fixed line AB as directrix and point F as focus, means we can draw the ellipse by focus directrix method. So, let us see the steps to draw the ellipse by focus directrix method or directrix focus method. So, first we have to draw a vertical line AB preferably on left side of sheet. So, suppose if we want to draw ellipse here, then we have to draw vertical line on this side which is directrix then we have to locate point c preferably at mid of this a b so that is point c and from this point c we have to draw a horizontal axis which is perpendicular to directrix like this now in example the focus is 50 mm from line a b so from this line a b on this axis we can measure 50 mm distance and we can mark a point f which is focus 
now we have divided the cf into number of parts now here how to decide the number of parts so it is good practice to divide the cf into number of parts equal to addition of numerator and denominator of eccentricity value so here eccentricity is 2 by 3 so 2 plus 3 it is 5 so we can divide the cf into 5 parts so here cf is equal to 50 so easily we can divide at 10 mm each into 5 part like this now we have to locate a vertex v on this cf line now vertex it is the point on the curve now what is eccentricity eccentricity it is the distance of point on curve from focus divided by distance of that point from the directrix so here vertex it is point on the curve so distance of that point from focus divided by distance of same point from the directrix that is c it is equal to 2 by 3 so we have to locate vertex v such that it will maintain the eccentricity 2 by 3 so here if vf is equal to 2 then vc should be equal to 3 so here from point c at third division and from point f at second division we can locate vertex point v like this now from point v we have to draw a vertical line perpendicular to this horizontal axis so we can draw like this and on this vertical line we have to locate point e such that distance vf is equal to ve so we can locate point e such that distance vf is equal to ve and this ve is perpendicular to vf now draw line joining points ce like this now from point f draw a line at 45 degree inclination to the axis so by using protractor measure 45 degree inclination and draw line at 45 degree and from the point of intersection we have to draw a vertical line perpendicular to axis like this so here this point it is v dash that is another vertex the ellipse will be passing through these two vertex like this so to draw such ellipse we need number of points and those number of points we can join by smooth curve to get an ellipse so in next procedure i will explain how to get the number of points between v and v dash so to get number of points between v and v dash divide this v v dash into number of parts now it is not required to divide into equal parts but if you divide into equal parts then we will get points equispaced and it will be easy to join by smooth curve but it is not compulsory to divide this phi phi dash into equal parts so divide this phi phi dash into number of parts like this then give the numbering from phi towards phi dash like this then from these points draw vertical lines perpendicular to axis like this now these vertical lines will be intersecting the line passing through ce so we can give the names to this intersection point as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash like this now to get points on the ellipse this line ce will be useful to get different points by maintaining the eccentricity is equal to 2 by 3 so by using compass take distance is equal to 1 1 dash and center as f that is focus draw arc on 1 1 dash on both side of axis that is on upper side and on lower side so that we will get point p1 and p1 dash like this similarly we have to repeat this process for all the points for distance 2 2 dash 3 3 dash 4 4 dash and so on and each time we have to take the focus as a center to draw the arcs now take distance is equal to 2 2 dash 
and mark the point on both side of the axis by taking center as a focus so that we will get point p2 and p2 dash similarly take distance is equal to 3 3 dash take focus as a center and draw arc on 3 3 dash on both side of axis that is on upper side as well as on lower side like this so that we will get point p3 and p3 dash similarly take distance is equal to 4 4 dash center as focus and draw arc on 4 4 dash line above the axis and below the axis so that we will get point p4 and p4 dash then take distance is equal to 5 5 dash take focus as a center and draw arc on upper side and lower side of axis on 5 5 dash line so that we will get point 5 and 5 dash then take distance is equal to 6 6 dash in the compass take focus as a center and draw arc on line 6 6 dash on upper side and lower side of the axis so that we will get point p6 and p6 dash then take distance is equal to 7 7 dash in the compass take focus as a center so remember every time we have to take the focus as the center to draw the arcs so draw arc on 7 7 dash line on upper side as well as on lower side then distance is equal 8 8 dash take focus as center and draw arc on 8 8 dash on both side of axis so in this way we will get number of points and if you join these points then we will get a smooth curve called ellipse so by following this procedure we are maintaining the eccentricity 2 by 3 for each point on the curve and if you join these points by smooth curve then we will get ellipse so we can join these points by free hand or we can use the french curve so this is the french curve in this french curve there are various curves of different radius and we have to match the proper curve with the points we can see here radius of this curve is small radius of this curve is slightly more radius of this curve is again larger radius of this curve it is very large so we have to match the proper arc with the points so rotate the french curve such that at least three or more points will match with the french curve and draw the arc like this now this arc it is symmetric with the horizontal axis so on lower side also we will get similar arc so by using same side we can draw arc on lower side also so by rotating by using same side we can draw arc on lower side of the axis similarly on this side also there will be symmetric curve like this so by using this french curve we can match the points with the curvature of the french curve and we can draw the smooth curves like this again we can flap this french curve and we can draw arc on upper side like this so in this way we can connect the oil points by using french curve or by freehand so that we will get a smooth curve called ellipse now for ellipse there are two focus and two directrix so to locate another focus we can use the compass and measure distance is equal to vf so by using this distance on this side we can measure v dash f dash so here we will get f dash similarly we can draw directrix on this side so again by using compass we can measure distance is equal to cv and on this side we can mark c dash and draw a vertical line passing from c dash to get the directrix on right side like this so this is a dash b dash now we can give the dimensions so here the distance of point f 
from line a b it is 50 so distance of point v from c it is 30 and distance of point f from the directrix it is 50 so in this way we can draw an ellipse by directrix focus method you can go to the description of this video here i have given link of other videos related to engineering graphics thank you